Dave Schultz for 1037 the game. At the tee, where the Raging Cajuns advance to the Super Regionals with a 5-3 victory over Mississippi State. Another sensational starting performance by Raging Cajuns pitcher Ryan Wilson going six and a third innings, leaving with a 4-1 lead. We had been resting Scoob and um, got to the point where we could use him tonight. He just went out and pitched a great game for us, gave us everything he had. And then Matt Plitt's probably been one of the the hottest guys out of our bullpen for the last 30 days. And uh, to come out there and get those big outs like he did was just huge. And I just kind of uh, got over overexcited and the ball run away from me a little bit. But uh, like I said before, position players, they're the greatest at it coming up and getting us to calm down and getting us through the inning. That's, that's really how I got through that. So. Jace Conrad, another big ball game. Two runs scored, drove in a run. Michael Strentz and Blake Tran also drove in runs for the Raging Cajuns. But yeah, it was, it was good. We, we tried to jump on them early, and uh, we just hoped that it would uh, play to our benefit, and it did. And we uh, give credit to our pitchers. We only put up five runs for them today versus the, I think, 14 yesterday. They did a great job of, of keeping their push and just getting outs for us. It was huge. Yeah, we just mislocated a pitch here. Yeah, I mean, we weren't really pitching to them. We were in a pattern two, pattern three, which is what we deem as it's an unintentional intentional walk and we just left the pitch up and uh, you know there's there's not a ton of guys in your lineup you want to pitch to um, you know you, you pitch to him you don't pitch to him you got to pitch to, you know to Trey Han and, and all that but yeah we were in a pattern too we just uh, didn't didn't look at that pitch the way we uh, we wanted to yeah early on you know I didn't have it at first uh, I struggled with command a little bit and but as the game went on, I, I made in-game adjustments, pitch by pitch. I mean, it's just a game inch, just like Coach Cohen said, and we weren't, I guess we came short. But, you know, I, again, I give credit to our fans again, too, because I think that's, that's critical again. Um, having the adrenaline that they gave us for, those, for this weekend has been phenomenal. Put our backs against the wall a few times this year, and it's kind of who we are to dig, your, dig, <coughs> dig ourselves out of those holes, and it just – just the experience of having to fight back and respond after losing a game or losing a tough game, whatever it was, came into play this this entire weekend pretty much, you know. We just I give I give credit to the crowd, like Coach Robert said earlier. I there, there's no words that can explain the help that they brought to this regional. And that they and I know they're gonna bring the same, <laughs> the same amount of help to the super regional, but without them none of this could have been possible. Cajuns will welcome in another team from Mississippi. Ole Miss will come into the Teague this weekend, and it'll be a two out of three, the winner going to Omaha. Once again, your final score from the Teague, the Raging Cajuns defeat Mississippi State 5-3 to three and advance and will host the Super Regionals this weekend. For 103.7 The Game, I'm Dave Schultz.